This example involves some fractions. We want to use the substitution method to solve x equals 5,6y minus 2 and 12x minus 5y equals negative 9. It's a system of linear equations there. Well, it says right there that, it's, that we're using substitution method, but even if, even if that wasn't clear, I would argue that the substitution method is clearly the way to go with this one. Anytime you have a lone variable, lone variable, okay, you probably want to use the substitution method, or at least consider it. I have to say V. Okay, so this is already set up for us here. We have x ready to go, so I'm going to remember to put parentheses around it, and I'm going to plug in right down here to this x. Don't let the fractions freak you out. It's, it's not the end of the world. It just means there's some fractions involved. So here we go. And remember, this, this x has kind of hidden parentheses around it, meaning that this 12 needs to multiply everything that is x. So when we rewrite this, when we make the substitution here, we have 12 parentheses, 5 sixths y minus 2 minus 5y equals negative 9. Okay, and now we have our equation just in y, which is great. Let's distribute this 12 through. When we do that, we have 12 divided by 6, which is 2, times 5 is 10, so 10y minus 2 times 12 is 24, minus 5y equals negative 9. We can add the 24 to both sides and combine like terms here to get 5y equals, well, 24 plus 9, uh, 24 minus 9 is 15. Divide by 5, y equals 3. Okay, well, that's only half our answer, but that's a good half. Um, let's go ahead and solve for x and Again, look back at your original equations or iterations shortly thereafter to find the easiest equation you can plug into to solve for x. I'm thinking that is right here in this place, in this case, because x is already solved for here. So we just have to plug in for y. So doing that gives x equals 5 sixths, and now y is 3. Okay, don't be scared of the fractions. Minus 2. Cancel here. That leaves us with a 2. So we have 5 halves minus 2. Let's get a common denominator here of 2. So I'm going to multiply this by 2 over 2. All right, so that gives us 5 minus 4 all over 2, which then gives us 1 half. Okay, so there's our x. Here's our y. Usually with these, you want to write the answer as an ordered pair. So let's do that. Final answer is, okay, x is 1 half, y is 3. Okay, remember your x goes here, your y goes there, there you have it.